Hello guys, John Ray 2, welcome back to a brand new video. Today it's a game, Lost, Found, Delete. In this game, we talk about Dot 2's missing Dot 2 episodes that we would like to save. And Dot 2 episodes we would like to delete. As in, it's because of the show, you know, Simon. And save, as in, computer save. But these are the episodes we wouldn't mind on saving from the dark and bring back to the light. And episodes we would say goodbye to. Now, I don't know if I've done this video before because it seems very familiar that I've done it. But I wanted to try and see if I haven't done it or not. So, the first episode is missing is Marco Polo. Now, I would say, for me, the episode which... People will start saying, well, no episode should be ever deleted. But I'm saying if we could bring back these episodes, these are the stories I would delete to get these stories back. You know, if they were the only thing we could do to get these episodes. You know, some I point a gun at someone saying, you know, I want Dot 2 missing episodes back. And they say, you have to delete an episode for each of these back. These That's the only choice to get it back. I would say Marco Polo would come back. That's the first one missing for the curse of the black spot. Doesn't do anything a spot. Doesn't doesn't do nothing for the storyline. It's an important story. It's one of the worst stories I think on Matt Smith's era in Doctor Who. Next one. The resist the rain of resistance. The rain of terror. Now half the story is already existence, but for the purpose of this, it has to be love monsters. Love Monsters, one of the worst Doctor Who stories ever created. The only good thing about it, I would say, is the monster. Even that's a bit crappy, but the only good thing about it is the monster. Next up we have is The Crusade. Eaters of the Light. Eaters of the Light, worst, probably the worst Peter Poe story. Even though I would say the next one is pretty bad as well. I have to say it's pretty bad. Next up we have is Galaxy 4. I would probably get rid of Face face yeah face the raven um me absolutely the worst doctor character ever next up we have his mission to the unknown one episode i would happily get rid of the twin dilemma horrible introduction to colin baker not nice i don't think in colin baker like the introduction his doctor became a bit more lighter and why would you want to see colin baker being nasty when well, he's a bit he's a really soft bit soft he's a really soft nice man so no i i don't think he would even mind that one being you know scrapped for some of the other ones to come back next up we would have the myth makers for fontius fontius is one of those forgettable stories for me so for me i wouldn't mind of it being gone um the next one i would have is the dalek's master plan for sleep no more i will sleep if the story goes it was just one of the most oh i don't know what the hell's going on one of the most stupid stories ever i just didn't know what's going on and it wasn't a scary one it was just what the hell what the hell's going on it's basically sleep in your eye you know whatever it's called sleep in your eye monsters boring water can destroy them end off next one is the mescade of Bonneville's eve Flatline, people love this story. I think it's one of the worst stories of Pig Party's era. Um, he doesn't do nothing in it. It's mostly Clara. There isn't really a monster until the end. And, you know, there is stuff going on, but not one for me. Next one is the Cassell Toy Maker. For the power of three, um, Cassell Toy Maker, I would probably say, is probably going to. I'll do this one completely. Um, there wouldn't be a point of it um, in my mind. Um, and then yet again, there isn't really a monster to it. There's no actual threat. I mean, they say there's a threat, but there's no scary threat to the story in my mind. You know, the humanity could be destroyed, but am I convinced of that? You know, of invasion and destroying us all? No. Next up we have is the savages for the mutants. Don't remember the story to be honest, the mutants. That's probably why I put it up there. I don't think the savages is another good one, but there you go. And then I put up 
the smugglers for the edge of destruction. One of the dullest, one of the most boringest, one of the most what the hell's going on moments. Um, I know the title is meant to be live in this one, and that's what it's trying to say, but what's I going to say? I really don't know what's going on. You know, this one's a bit controversial. The 10th planet for Planet of Giants. Now, Planet of Giants is technically missing itself, but isn't in the missing category. Now, episode 3 and 4 are missing like bits, and they're combined together to complete a free episode pack. So it really, really is weird in my mind. Um, and that's why I would get rid of it. But it's not, you know, not listed as missing in uh, the archives. But it, it should be. Um, but I don't think they'll ever find it. The next one is Power of the Daleks for Colony in Space. Colony Space, worst monsters ever. Power Daleks, probably best monsters ever. Probably one of John Pertry's weakest stories. That's why it has to be in there. Next one is... The Highlanders for Terminus, another weak monster, um, that's it really, and it's Jamie's first story, so I think Jamie deserves to be in it more. Next up we have the Underwater Menace for Data and the Barrowman. Data and the Barrowman, um, there isn't even a monster in it, is there? Bad guy, I suppose. I suppose, is, no, that's Paradise Towers, that's probably coming up here soon. Um, yeah, that's it really. I think nothing to say about that one. Then the moon base for Dot Two TV movie. Um, some of the baddest acting. I do watch this one sometimes as a guilty pleasure, but bad acting. Um, I wouldn't really mind not seeing this one ever again. But there you go. Next up, we have another one of the Matt Smith's worst ones. So I'll do Mac the Mark Terra. For the real flesh and it's simple one of the worst matt smith's monsters not scary fake cgi rubbish and the acting is some of the worst acting i've ever seen next one is the faceless ones for the sequel the almost people yet again you know the reason why um oh paradise towers is not on here and that's the reason why next up we have the Evil of the Daleks for the worst Christmas story ever. Doesn't really seem Christmassy, though it is, and it's a bit fake acting, hard acting for me. With the Doctor, the Widow, and the Wardrobe. Real bad acting. Um, next one, the Andalmada. I can't speak. The Ambonapult Snowman. Snowmen. For the beast below um for me the story really didn't need to happen they could have gone to the next one in the line which is victory of the dialects and completely missed this one out that's where i believe amy pond really did shine mostly as a companion in that one more than this one which i think this one was intended for her to you know do it and i don't think she really did it in my opinion next up we have the ice warriors in the forest of the night um there isn't a monster it isn't a really interesting one it's about relationships in dot two and really we don't need that i don't sign up to watch dot two for relationships i sign up for dot two for monsters for good storylines good acting not for this rubbish and next up will become most shock people web of fear which is only one episode again which Deserves to be found for Smile. Smile is the worst Doctor Who story. I will say this on record. One of the worst in history. It's probably with the next three in my mind um, in history. And it deserves to be wiped. If any story could be found, even the worst missing story, for this story to be wiped, it is this one. Smile is just terrible. It should never have been offended. People love it. I can't stand it. Next up, we have the wheel in space. Wheel in space. Okay. For the... the oh, no, sorry. Wheel in space. Next up is Fruit from Deep for Exodus. One, one of the worst of the um, pyramids 
uh, the Pyramid Monk story, chapter, whatever, trilogy, sorry. It was one of them, and what the fuck was going on? Doctor's blind. Probably the only good thing about it. Oh, he's not blind anymore. What the hell is going on? What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? I just didn't understand the storyline at all. Um, I understood the monks wanted to take over, and they did take over. The doctor's regenerating. He's not regenerating. Oh, blah, blah, blah. So, really, I've really just covered the last two, anyways. So, the world of space, the pyramids, the pyramid at the end of the world, the invasion for the lie of the land. That's all of them. Um, that's the reason why. Next up, we have the space pirates of Fear Her. One of those stories which really isn't important until the end, last clip, and it could have just been brushed away, you know, really could have been brushed away. I did put Shard on this list for Full Circle. Now, Full Circle, for me, is a boring one. It introduced Adric. That's the only good thing about it, and, I mean, he could have been introduced anywhere. Shadar, though, it is out now. Is one of them I would have wished they would have continued working on and completing it rather than having full circle. So that's all of them, guys. That's all the missing episodes. That's what I would say I would like back and would be deleted. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now. Bye bye.